I sure am hungry. I would like some lunch. You know what's a good lunch? Spaghetti with beef and sauce. Today, I'm going to be trying an MRE. My name is Medieval Tom, and I have never tried an MRE before. This is a first. You get to see it right here, right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this for my lunch. I want to open this like a man, but I have scissors in case I'm weak, pathetic. It says peelable seal. How do the military boys do it? Also, you're gonna hear every little sound that's happening because as you can tell, I'm not in my natural environment. I think I gotta, gotta break out the, the dangerous scissors. Blur these. YouTube doesn't like weapons. Guys, I did it all by myself. You have no idea. So, it is warfighter recommended, warfighter tested, and Warfighter approved. This looks like a giant popcorn bag. Oh, it's in French. Spaghetti in sauce a la viande de boeuf. I'm pretty sure that means spaghetti with beef and sauce. Um, hello? Help. I could never survive in the army. I can't even open up my food without scissors. Blur, blur. Pretend that's my hands. Ta-da. So, it says flameless. Guys, it's my lunch. This is my spaghetti. Spaghetti with beef and sauce. I don't know how I feel about packaged, packaged, beef. Okay, there are carbohydrates, protein, and fat. All of the most important things that you need. Are there like pills? In here? What is happening? If you're supposed to open these quietly, I'm, I'm not doing that. Imagine being on the war field and you just hear You would get shot real quick. What is this? Italian breadsticks in a bag. I'm so excited. Oh, there's cheese spread. I, mm. Ingredients that are not in regular cheese. <laughs> oh, okay, so this one has instructions. This is I have to knead it before. Maybe I can get one of my cats to do it for me. Raisins. This is the only thing I feel safe about eating. This is gonna be my dessert for sure. Toaster pastry, chocolate chip. My God, they feed their war fighters good. What is this, why is this powder? Hang on. Oh no, there are some hefty instructions on these. That's a, that's a drink powder. It says I have to let it sit for 30 minutes. What is this? Is this my heating pouch? It said it was uh, flameless. Which is good, because I don't want to destroy this countertop. Precious countertop we have here. So, step one. Remove MRE pouch and paperboard sleeve from MRE. I have this. Where? Oh, there's my spaghetti. Okay. So, tear off top of this bag. What is happening? Look at these instructions. I feel like I'm building an atomic bomb. I have to pour water in the bag? Okay. I gotta go get water, apparently. Hang on, hang on. This is not chemically purified, <laughs> but who cares? Maybe that'll make it taste different. I have a spoon. How am I supposed to eat spaghetti with a spoon? They didn't think about this. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it, because otherwise I'm just gonna stare at it all day. While holding MRE pouch and heater above lines on bag, 
Pour water into bag until it reaches a level between lines. What? What? So I have to put this, this in here. Maybe I'm just dumb, but this doesn't feel like it's self-explanatory. Boom, baby. Okay, and then I have to put this underneath. Heater, rock or something. What? Oh, we need to make it inclined. Fill to lines. What line, bro? Oh, oh, good thing I looked at this before. Are you sure this is okay? Am I doing this wrong? Well, I'm put water in, and if my spaghetti, if my spaghetti ain't warm, I got a microwave for a reason. But you won't see that part. I can't eat the heater. This is sick and twisted. Okay. So, then they want me to go like this? Uh, okay, well, we're just gonna, we're gonna do this. Maybe, Jesus. Get your butt in there. I have to incline him. Get inclined, bitch. Okay, I think that's, that's it. I think it's like water activated or something. Don't comment anything, okay? Don't say a word. Okay, he's gonna be inclined. Okay, he's inclined. So, now let's get this organized. What is happening? I'm such a messy eater. Okay, so we have a toaster pastry. Can I just take this out? It looks like it. So this is a toaster pastry. It's chocolate chip. This is my favorite. That's my favorite. Is it like a toaster strudel? Oh no. Oh no. What is this? Why? There's nothing on here. Why are you screaming? He's screaming because he has zero object permanence. Do you not understand anything? Are you just a tiny little dumb baby? Anyway. He can't have this. He's gonna ask for it. Honestly, this tastes worse than a normal toaster pastry. What? I guess it's because you're supposed to toast them, but I have to pretend that I'm in the field and I can't do it. So I'm going to not toast this. I'm gonna put this away for later. And you don't get any. Get your fat butt out of the frame. Get your fat butt out of the frame. He wants to be a part of everything so bad. What? You can't jump up there, you nerd. He's gonna jump up here again. He's gonna knock everything over. <coughs> okay, so we tried the toaster pastry. Not great. I would rate it 3 out of 10. Uh, we have Italian breadsticks. Are these supposed to have the cheese spread? Have I... Was I supposed to be kneading this the whole time? I'm excited for the spaghetti. I'm... I'm excited. Ugh. Everything smells so weird. What is this? Salt. <gasps> Moist towelette. Oh my goodness. And it's latex free. I'm allergic to latex, so this is literally the best thing that could ever happen. Tear open packet and eat. He doesn't say that, don't listen to me. What are these? What the heck? <gasps> are these like little, little pieces of gum? <laughs> oh, I don't know what those are. I'm scared to eat things that I shouldn't be eating. Should I eat? What is that? Is that, do I eat it? <laughs> There's some lemonade. There's some lemonade. This is perfect. Okay, let me get my spoon out of here. My cat. My cats are very interested in what's happening up here. I am going to turn this water into lemonade. 
Oh, I br oh, oh, don't look. I'm so embarrassed. Nothing happened. Ooh. Go ahead and sniff that for me. Sniff it. It smells like lemons. Imagine lemons. Go find a lemon and sniff it, and then you'll know what I'm sniffing. I feel like this is way too much water for... This is going to be the most watery lemonade in the world. Shit. Oh, it just looks like water. I messed up. Excuse me, ma'am. What do you think you're doing? Ma'am. Ma'am. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Ma'am. 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 Ma'am! She always wants to be the center of attention. Oh, I didn't even check how long I'm supposed to leave this for. This is hot! Oh my god, this is burning hot actually. No wonder it smells like that. It's because it's burning. <laughs> okay, well, at least we know this is. This is happening correctly, as it should. Why are you back? Why are you back up here? Aw, oh, get down. Scoochie. You can't have any of this. Are you... It's like boiling. What are you doing? It's been two seconds. Get your butt down. It smells scary. 10 to 15 minutes. I don't know how long this has been in there. It, it sounds scary. It sounds like it's boiling, which it probably is. It's steaming. Dude, this is some genius innovating. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit until I'm done with my other stuff. And then we'll get back to it. I need to try my lemonade. Cheers. Who said I was cheersing to you? You wanna sniff the lemonade? Doesn't smell very good, does it? it tastes very acidic. Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to leave. Ma'am, I'm gonna... <laughs> okay, so Italian breadsticks. That's what we're doing now. That's what you're here for. Yeah. Oh, I broke it. I feel like such a man. Oh, these actually smell pretty good. Let me rip my cheese spread out of here. Let me get my cheese spread out. Hmm. I don't know how I feel. I gotta cheese spread it up. Cheese spread and... You know the cheese that's in like the... <coughs> you don't like the smells that are happening, do you? Get off! Step off! The cheese that's in, uh, like the little breadsticks that come in the plastic container and then there's cheese on the side. It just tastes like that. I'm scared that my MRE is gonna explode. Don't do it. Don't do it, bro. I'd be very upset. Okay, so here are the breadsticks. Here's my delicious cheese sauce. Ah, oh, yeah. Doesn't that look delish? Oh, yeah. That's actually really good. I... I would unironically eat this. I think I would rate it like a 9 out of 10. This should not be that good. What the heck? If you didn't know, I love lemonade. I am such a lemonade girly. Oh, delicious. I wonder if there's like a specific amount of water 
that you're supposed to use for that lemonade packet or if it's like however much you want. I'm going to assume that it's been about 10 minutes, but I'm going to wait a little while longer to make sure that my spaghetti is warm. There are some raisins. That just looks like a black bag to you, doesn't it? That's just the void. There are raisins in there. You want me to show you? Hang on. Here's a clump of raisins. Now, I'm not a huge raisin fan, but I will say that raisins are probably the most non-concerning package thing in here. It tastes like raisin. If you if you have raisins right now, go get some. Eat some raisins with me. How's it going, friend? How are your raisins? You liking the raisins? Are they green raisins? How dare you? I'm not a big fan of raisins, but it tastes like a raisin you can get at a grocery store. So, 5 out of 10, just because it's a raisin, but quality-wise, 9 out of 10. Because if you put an MRE bag of raisins and a grocery store bag of raisins in front of me, I would not be able to tell the difference, I don't think. This has very specific instructions and I'm kind of scared. This is the chocolate hazelnut protein powder. You can't see that. Can you read? I can't read. So that's the, I don't know. That's the chocolate hazelnut protein powder, which sounds good. It says, allow water just chemically purified to stand 30 minutes before adding to powder. Tear pouch at notch, open zipper, add eight ounces of cold water to fill to line. Close zipper, shake to mix, consume promptly within an hour. But I don't understand what allow water just chemically purified to stand 30 minutes before adding to powder. Chemically, chemically purify? Do I have to get purified water for this? What if I just, I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna get normal water. It is about a third canteen cup. I don't know what that means. Um, I'm not sure what that means. So I think I'm just gonna pour an amount in there and hope for the best. And we'll see. We'll see if I know what a third canteen cup is, but this is like canteen size, right? Probably a little bit bigger. That's a little, that's like closer to half. Don't, don't, don't say a word, okay? I am trying my best. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Ooh, I really want this for lunch. This smells, this smells exactly like the toaster pastry. And as we know, I did not like that guy. I'm gonna make a mess. It's probably way too much water, oh no. And then I zip it back up, it zipped. And then shake, right? Shake to mix. <laughs> I just feel like powder in there. They should give the military straws so they can drink their little protein drink on the move. Because how fun would that be? How exciting. It actually feels pretty good. She's shocked by this. They knew what they were doing. I'm gonna pour some of it out so you can see it. This is, uh, this is chocolate. You... She's more interested in this food. I need you... <laughs> I need you to get off because I don't want you to accidentally consume some chocolate. I'm not looking to go to the cat ER today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get my protein intake. Look, it kinda just looks like really thick. 
Really thick chocolate milk. Girl, girl, get out of here. Get. Thank you. Now stay down. She, she has a problem with getting up on the counter. This is the protein shake. Oh my god. It's so thick. I feel like I'm supposed to add more water. Don't you dare. I haven't had a protein shake before, but I feel as though this probably isn't a good baseline, but maybe like six or seven. Like I would drink it. Like if it got handed to me, I would drink it. It kind of tastes slightly like coffee, but it's definitely got a, a packaged aftertaste to it. So let's open up this bad boy. He's been heating this whole time. It's probably not good for him. Oh no. Ooh, that's hot. Feels like I just took it out of the oven. The smell of the heater makes me nauseous. Are you? Ooh, that's warm. Yeah, it feels hot. Okay, so I think I did it correctly. And again, in case you forgot from the beginning of this video, with all the wonderful content that it is provided, this is spaghetti with beef and sauce. The ingredients are seasoned cooked beef crumbles. <laughs> oh. Diced tomatoes, tomato juice, spaghetti. I'm assuming noodles. I didn't say. Uh, egg whites. Oh, they have spices in here. Onion powder, salt, general spices. Contains wheat, egg, milk, and soy. Uh, if you want to comment down below, because I'm not sure, um, is there like gluten-free options for military personnel? Or is it just, you just get handed to it? Or are you not even allowed to go into the military if you're like <laughs> gluten-free? Obviously, I'm an idiot and I have no idea about any of this. Okay. Well. Here's the main attraction. <sighs> All right, let's see how it goes. Trying to make sure there's no sauce. Trying to make sure there's no sauce. So it doesn't make a mess. Hmm. Kind of looks like Chef Boyardee. Again, you can't see. Kinda, if I go like that. It kind of just looks like spaghetti. So if you've ever seen spaghetti, Spaghetti. Okay, taste test. You know, it's got a got a slight packaged taste aftertaste, a little bit like metal. Don't know why that is, but that's not bad. I actually think. It kind of just tastes like Chef Boyardee. Kind of just tastes like a can you'd get at a grocery store. Is that all this is? Did they just put canned food or like bagged food into these that are name brands and they put them into nameless bags? What do you think you're doing? What do you, what do you think you're doing? No, no! Step off! I swear, she wants to be the center of attention all of the time. If you want to see more of her, I have an entire playlist dedicated to her, so go check that out. We're here for this. We're here for the spaghetti that's reminding me of my childhood. If you're curious what this tastes like, and you don't want to spend like $15, on an MRE from Amazon like I did. You can just go buy Chef Boyardee, put it in a bag. But that's not happening, Sh And eat it. And that's pretty much the same. Boom, nothing happened. I won't keep you guys any longer. I'm gonna eat the rest of this. This is my lunch. Um. 
I'm glad it went correctly. You better stay. Stay. Overall, I would say that besides the toaster pastry, which I shouldn't have started with because why would you start with dessert? Don't ask. I think overall it was actually pretty good. Like as a general scale, if we ignore the toaster pastry, I would say probably like a 7 or 8 out of 10. And I haven't tried other ones, so I don't know if they're even better. I honestly, I would eat that again, I think. I would exclude the toaster pastry, and I am going to eat the cheese and the Italian bread. But honestly, it is pretty good. I think if you're curious, you should get an MRE off of Amazon. It says, it says U.S. government property commercial resale is unlawful. We don't talk about that. We, we don't discuss it. Because they sell these at stores. So, and also, I'm pretty sure that's only if, like, a personnel officer is trying to sell it to a civilian or something. But... What, what do I know? I don't even know if there are gluten-free options that the military gets, or if you can even be in the military if you're gluten-free. I'm just an idiot. An idiot who tried an MRE and thought it was pretty good. That's gonna be the end of this video. There's nothing else for me to do. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more content like this, let me know in the comments below. Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video. Ugh. Bye!